Look at a very nice stroke. Cue ball coming round for the blue, which is on the centre spot, of course. And down it goes. Choice of several reds here. Joe calls for the rest. He's after the black, of course. Down it goes, a very nice stroke, particularly with the rest. One of the implements that all professionals detest. Black goes down, break now 14. Follows the red throw for the black. 
88. Break now, 88 and three reds left. on television. Well, he didn't uh, drop on the reds very fortunately there. shot than it looked. Eighteen. Break of eighteen so far. Nineteen. Twenty-six. 
Lovely action study of Fred there in stance. Beautiful. 27. Up a bit. Yes, he's just got the white in the right place. 34. Okay. <coughs> Can he get onto those reds, John, from the pink, do you think? Well, that's what he's looking at there, Jack, is the two reds that he can make a plant into the top pocket. That's what he's studying. Obviously decided that he can. Yeah. Forty one. He's rather just stuck close to the lights, which isn't very nice. Forty-nine, twenty-two, and that forty-nine is this soul break. Red in the middle will go, but he's a little bit close to it for comfort. Mm. Nicely played. Couldn't, couldn't have been much better, could it? No. Yeah. Seven. Fifty-eight. Again, beautiful positional play all the time. Just letting the cue ball run into position. Seventy three break. <laughs> he's a character, this Fred, he really is. Here he's in the middle of a seventy three break and he starts cracking jokes. Go in. 
That's a beautiful show. Yes, I think Fred enjoys his snooker these days more than he's ever done in his <laughs> life. This could well be the first hundred break of the championship. Yes, well, he's just got to play over that yellow, John, which is just a little bit tricky. Well, he's got it very nicely. That's 80 break, and there's 27 on the table with the colours on their spots. So we have the chance here of a nice century by Fred. Perfect position. Eighty four. Eighty seven. Well, you can. Well, there's an air of expectancy here. This will be marvellous. Ninety-six. Ninety-six break. Century of the World Championship. How about that? The grand old man. Well, follow that. A wonderful break, my friend. 109. And there he is, smiling all over his face. into the pack has one into the center 16 the pink available for the top pocket
Now, an interesting situation here. The uh, pink will not go in its own spot. All spots are occupied, and therefore referee Williams has to place that pink as near to its own spot as possible between its spot and the top cushion. He's just checking that the pink is in line with the other colours down the table. coming from the other side of the screen where another quarter-final is taking place. Werbenick unperturbed. Break goes to 32. to the black again. And he split those very nicely. Forty-five. Break now forty-five. Seven reds left now. And the break at 60. 60. Seventy-five. 
break now, 83. 83. Urbanek with a possible break of 142 here. <laughs> he has on six occasions made the maximum of 147. Great shot. Problem of the last red. One hundred and seven. It's a good one. <laughs> All set then for a hundred and forty two now, if he can get this black and the last six colours. Down the table for the yellow. A magnificent performance by the North American snooker champion. John Virgo, who holds the highest break so far in the championships, 137 sits in his chair, not yet been to the table, apart from the breaking off of the frame. 120. Just three colours to go now. championship record held by Rex Williams is 142 and Bill Werbnick, the North American champion, is about to equal that.
Southern. Pink spot occupied, and therefore the pink goes on the highest available spot. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Steve playing his natural, unhurried game. Twenty-nine. Seven. Alex just wondering if there's a really big break coming here. A lot of balls still left. a different story. That was a very brave shot to play this stage, Ted. He went for that long yellow, must be feeling very confident at the moment, and uh, must, must be seeing all these balls. He's going to he's gonna get them all, I think, the way he's looking. to 56. 56. Seventy-two. Seventy-six. 
73. He has a possible 139 break here, which would be the highest of the championship. Eighty-eight. Eighty-nine. <coughs> Ninety-four. Ninety-five. Stephen needs a pink here to tie with a high break and a black to beat it and um, the normal shot he would play here is just to roll the red in and stay on the blue but uh, I don't know if he's got the high break in his mind I think he's just um, he had the sensor in his mind I think before that but now he's got the high break there in his back of his mind and looks, looks in a very nice position now One hundred and nine. One hundred and eleven. The highest break here at Sheffield so far is one hundred and thirty-six by Canadian Kirk Stevens. One hundred and fourteen. Three more colours and Steve Davis will equal the 136. One hundred and twenty-three. One hundred and twenty-nine. Wait for the applause. Sixteen. <coughs> Seventeen. He's done it all wrong there. Alex tried a very delicate screw shot then to just come inside the black and get it back into the opposite pocket, but um, he under it a bit and I don't know whether he's going to go for this. No, I think he's playing the black in the middle pocket. Oh, 
Oh, I said I had time. She's got a good touch, Alex. She's got a really hit the ball very hard sometimes and very quick. But a really nice touch when he's uh, in amongst the balls. The plant into the middle pocket. Once again, you see Alex there, pin a delicate little cannon, 32. taking the white off the black and onto that red, kissing the red out of the way and leaving himself on the black. <laughs> That's five blacks so far. Forty. Forty-one. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. <coughs> well, the one four seven is a possibility here, but I'm sure at the moment Alex is not. Uh, just think he's thinking of getting enough balls to win this frame to come level at the interval. But a few more reds and a few more blacks, and I'm sure he'll start to think of the 147. That's eight blacks. Sixty four. Sixty five. Oh, that's a really nice shot then. It does stay on that black. Just a touch of bottom on the ball. Because Alex has done the one four seven, the magic one four seven, I think it's six times already. So uh, could this be a, a seventh? Seventy-two. Sure, the adrenaline is starting to pump in Alex now. You can see him go on the table. He's really buzzing and seventy-two. I think he's going to try and split these two reds here. Perfectly, what a good shot. Eighty one. <laughs> Eleven blacks so far, and still the four reds to go. Well, the tension is going to be much of me, Ted, I think. <laughs> I think everybody in the audience now is willing Alex on to get to this one four seven. That includes Steve as well. 89. I think I think he'd love to see Alex uh, do a one four seven. I think he's lost the frame now, and <coughs> sure he'd be pleased if Alex got the one four seven. Seventy eight. 
10,000 pounds, of 96. course, for the maximum break of 147. Ninety-seven. <laughs> he's got the hundred, but he's, he's lost four. position a bit to get back on the black. I'm sure he's going to try and get on the black here. He certainly won't pot this red and go on the blue. He's going to go for that magic 147. In. Yeah. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Absolutely brilliant. An electric atmosphere here in the Crucible Theatre, Sheffield. The 15th black coming up. He's gone a little too far on the yellow, the green sitting on the bottom cushion. Played it with terrific side, but he's so unlucky. In the top, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it was such a brave shot on the black then, Ted. He played that shot with, with Stan and run inside. Put everything into the shot to get onto the yellow right, and just a bit unlucky. He had to play a lot of check side on the yellow. He's kissed the brown. And, oh, surely, Terry, <laughs> surely, Terry, this is the one time that you wish a fluke for a player. Yeah, I'd love to see that green go in. Please go in. No. Oh. Well done, Alex Morris. A terrific performance by Alex Higgins. And very unlucky to come just out of position on the yellow when he was all in line for a 147 maximum break with just the last six colours to go. The black you'll notice hampered by a red. say he'd move the offending red but he's taken the other one back on the black
four reds, four blacks. 32. Six reds and six blacks. Forty eight. Forty nine. is a red to stay in position. Four goes the maximum to win the frame. Just sizing up the red above the pink for the top pocket. The blue spot now occupied, I think. Sixty-two. Just sufficient room. One foot on the floor. Well, Doug will be feeling this frame is safe now. I'm sure we'll see him go into the pack of reds off this black to open them up and be a big chance for a century break. He can pick one off into the centre pocket if he wishes, but the angle looks pretty good to me to split the reds. They could have been better. 17. Yes, well, he has a near straight pot uh, into the far balk pocket, corner pocket or a half ball cut into the centre pocket. I think Doug, uh, the way he's queuing now, will, would make either one of them. Remains to be seen, but I think whichever red he decides to take on, he'll pot it all right. to 78. 78.
Got himself in a bit of trouble this time. There are possible three reds that can be pocketed here. The fourth red could be doubled, so they're all on. None of them easy. shot that. What a putter this man is. And Redden just sits in his chair hoping that his colleague, his fellow countryman, can clear these. A possible 145 there. The highest break in the Embassy Championships so far is 135 by Dennis Taylor. Just the last red to go, and then the six colours. Doug has the black a little straight here, but I, I think he'll draw the white ball back here onto the side cushion, take the red ball into the opposite centre pocket. Not as straight as he would have preferred this red, but an excellent opportunity, a nice angle to go off the red onto the ball colours, or perhaps he'll come back for the black. Magnificent shot there on the last red. Dog in the play. Redden waits. Our capacity crowd, all with their fingers crossed. I think we'll see Doug attempt to go right around the yellow here. Side cushion, top cushion, take the yellow back into the corner pocket. And it's perfect. If Mountjoy can take these six colours, he creates a new world championship record. The record at the moment held jointly by Rex Williams and Bill Werbenick, a break of 142.
this is just about perfect soft little run through on the blue straight pink into the corner straight black into the opposite corner every nerve now strained Just the one right on that black. 1,200 pounds hanging on this last stroke. He's now got the highest break, 138, but a new world record with the putting of the black. A standing ovation for Welshman Doug Mountjoy as he creates a new world championship record a most magnificent break of 145 47 48 54 55 
76. 77. Ninety-nine. hundred and one. at work, a tremendous clearance of 126 by Jimmy White. one way of getting them I suppose and staying on the black as well my word that's a bonus Seven. What a lovely fluke that was that Cliff Thorburn got because these reds are now spread open beautifully. Nine. I couldn't possibly wish to have the balls in a better position than this. Cliff has gone through a little bit too far on that shot. I think I think the red may go into the centre pocket. Thank you. 
construí. Perfect angle on the black here. Cliff didn't uh, get into that one as he wanted to, wanted to hold the cue ball on the other reds and he's just slipped out of position a little bit now. You can clip this one in and come around the back of the black but uh, not quite as nice as it should have been. I think he was a little bit fortunate there after getting out of position to have such a easy shot to just drop it onto the black again. Gradually finding it a little more difficult. Again, he's got a red here on the left hand corner pocket. And that's a good shot. A soft screw there 49. just to hold him on the black. I think he can see the black. And there's a nice picture of the Thorburn stance, very square to the table. on his misfortunes there with that fluke by Cliff at the start of this uh, break. Oh, that's a nice shot. Well, this will be the eighth black. Cliff's uh, main objective will be to win the frame, but he'll certainly be looking for a very big break here. He'll feel very much happier when the frame is actually safe. And to do that, he needs another two reds. And then he can relax and concentrate on making a very big break because there is a marvellous opportunity here.
65. Well, I'm going to break a rule here, Rex. Every time we talk about these wonderful breaks, they go and break down, so I'm going to let him finish this break. I'm a wee bit superstitious. Well, this next one will be the tenth black. And the adrenaline will be really flowing with uh, Cliff at the moment because he knows that this is the type of opportunity that doesn't crop up very often. Still perfect position to just get the red nearest to the black and back onto the black again. Eighty-nine hasn't quite stunned that as much as he wanted to. Left himself a little bit finer angle on the black than he wanted. He'll get positioned on the red without any problem, but it just made the black a little bit more difficult. And Griffiths, quite aware that he's lost the frame now, I am sure that he is hoping and praying that uh, Cliff Thorburn will do this. Ninety-seven. Well, Cliff this time uh, needs to get round the back of those uh, reds to lead himself a choice of either red into the corner or red into the centre. It's got to get on this uh, red in such a way to get back on the black. So now this is Have a, little break here. a difficult. <laughs> well, what a what a sensible fellow. At a stage like this, with just one red left, he stops and blows his nose and says, "Let's have a break." And if he can take this red and the black. The colours will be on their spots. Oh, and what a moment this is. It is truly electric here. If only we could tell the audience not to applaud just for the remainder of this break.
they have actually stopped playing on the other table. Well, now this is the real shot uh, that matters, Jack, to get on the yellow. If he can do that, he could be well on. He hasn't come quite far enough. He's left himself a tough shot, but that's 15 reds and 15 blacks that he's taken now. was a marvellous yellow that uh, Cliff Thorburn took then. And Bill Werbenick, as tense as he is. life when he's going to be so tense as this.